hello and welcome to the Chanute Blue Comet, the second match of this homecoming special. And we look, this is a boys game. Look like we have a great game here. I am your host, Bryson Genswider, along here with Braylon Rita. This, this matchup is between the 11 and three Chanute Blue Comets and the eight and six Iola Mustangs. Uh, and me and Braylon, we have a great game ahead of us. Here are the starters for the Iola Mustangs. We have senior number one, Landon Weed. Junior number four, well, uh, and the starters for Chanute are senior number 33, Larson Kester, junior number 35, Elliot Stevenson, senior number 12, Rhett Smith, and senior number five, Caden Seamster, and as well, senior number 20, Jordan Duncan. Tonight, we have a great match ahead of us in the second homecoming game here. The stream is brought to you by our wonderful class that we have here, Comet Vision. Student, completely student led and our teacher as well helps out. And I, I'm excited for this game we got coming tonight. As you can see, our student section is popping right now. There is several people here excited for the game, excited for homecoming afterwards. And what's better than a win right before homecoming? Braylon, what do you think about this game? I think we're gonna have a real good matchup here tonight, Bryson. Hoping that this game ends up in Chanute's favor, just like the girls game. But I think, I think we have a great, great game coming up. I've heard nothing but good things about this Iola team here, the Iola boys team. So I'm hoping that they live up to the stories. We have eight, eight minute quarters, 32 minute game of brilliant basketball coming up here. I hope you're excited as we are because this is going to be fun. All ready to play. We have Caden Seamster going for the tip. And Iola looks to be quite tall. Their team has a lot of height here. And here comes the tip off. Ball is up and Iola gets first possession. And looking like Chanute is in a man-to-man -man offense. Ball is being chased around. That is number 13. Goes up, misses. Elliot Stevenson with the rebound. Pushing the ball up the court very quickly. Slows it down. Ball is in the hands of Jordan Duncan. Larson over on the side. Iola is in a zone. It looked like a 2-3, two, two, maybe a 2-1-2 two, two zone. Larson makes a great play into the paint. Misses the layup, but Caden gets the rebound. Goes up and puts it in. First two points of the night. Great move by Caden, cutting down right to the paint, going up for the rebound, getting the rebound, finding his way through the Iola defense. I believe he was, he had four Iola players on him, finding that one one spot, going up that the layup. That shot is missed. Man, made the layup. Elliot goes up and gets a board over. Passes it out to Jordan Duncan, misses the three, but Larson is there, and the ball gets taken away. Ball's being pushed rare. up the court, poked out from behind by Rhett Smith. It is very rare we see Jordan Duncan miss a three. You will definitely see some three points from my man Jordan Duncan mm -hmm. tonight. Whoa! Oh, and they called a foul. Rhett Smith got up and blocked that right at the cheerleaders. A lot of people wanted that to be called a block, including Red himself. Let's see the replay here. I, I think there's a lot of ball there. Hit, hit our cameraman right there. Mm -hmm. The first free throw is knocked down by Grady Daughtry. Looking to tie the game up here. And 
And he knocks down both of the free throws. He's a junior. Larson Kester bringing the ball up. Great playmaker he is. Finds Seamster in the high post. Finds Kester back top the key. He pump fakes. Gets the ball in to Rhett Smith. They swing it around. Slowing it down here. Chenier really moving this ball around right now, not trying mm -hmm. to force anything, not trying to force any bad passes. Fantastic Euro step by Caden Seamster. Misses it, though. Threw it too high off the glass right there. Bounced just mm -hmm. right, right over the rim. Well, it's a tough layup. Didn't knock it down. A great steal by Larson Kester. Goes for the layup, and he knocks it down. You love to see when you, when you steal the ball, you pick up the ball, and then you go up. Mm -hmm. Finish your own play right there. Mm -hmm. A completely unassisted bucket. Beautiful play there. Elliott playing lockdown defense here. Make, he, do, he stepped out of bounds right there, but nobody on the line saw that. That is a three-pointer knocked down by Landon Weed. Landon Wide, maybe. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. As Larson misses the three. Mike. So I know it wasn't called, but back before that three was hit for Iola, I had a clear vantage point to see an Iola player step out of bounds, but was indeed not called. Get the ball in, finds Rhett Smith. He drives to the hoop, gets a layup. Great play. He's been impressive this year, that's for sure. Great look by Caden right there, finding Rhett, Rhett cutting in and just going up with the easy lay right there. Jordan Duncan playing man-on-man -man up top. Elliott hawking that ball. Mac Leonard goes to the hoop. He just loses it. Ball's now in the hands of Larson. He's looking to pass the ball. Don't want to force it anywhere. Does a nice behind the back. Gets into the paint. Passes it out. The ball is swung to Elliott. Goes up for the layup. Right-handed missed. Elliott gets his own board, finds Caden Seamster's ball. Knocked out of his hands, but it is a foul. It is going to be Chanute on the baseline, passing it in here. You love to see when you miss a shot and you get your own rebound. Mm -hmm. You love to see that. Elliott wide open in the paint, but it's just took it away. That was 100% of travel on number two there, but they do not call it. I believe they probably thought it was just a loose ball there. Number 13 takes a fade away in the corner. Pretty tough shot, but he shot it twice now. I think he likes it. We've seen that shot twice mm -hmm. now. I think I think he's comfortable. Wait until, he, wait until he's warming up right there. Misses the three-pointer. Rhett is kind of stranded down there, able to get free. Larson slows it down. Rhett gets it back to Larson. Larson's wide open, doesn't take the shot. Larson finds Rhett. He doesn't take the shot. Rhett tries to throw a cross-court pass, and that is stolen. Iola moving the ball up the court. Number two in the corner makes a play on the baseline. Great play, but greater play by Elliott. And the pass is thrown down. And Elliott misses it, but Jordan Duncan is right there and one. Brilliant put back layup plus put the foul. Boss. Now Jordan is one that gets a lot of three pointers, but this time he might be getting it the old fashioned way. That was a that was a great, great play. Elliott missing the layup. Jordan being right there, catches it off the rim, throws it back up. Free throw is knocked down. Look at this play. This is this was brilliant. Takes the push, makes the putback layup. A putback layup in itself is very hard to make. And he made it look easy. Now, Caden Seamster up at the top, guarding. Caden almost gets a steal, but wasn't quite quick enough. Makes a big grown man play there by Grady Daughtry. Doherty. He has four points now. Rhett looking to find someone. Finds Elliott at the top of the key. 
Ball is being passed around a lot. From NBA range, Jordan Duncan knocks it down. Like I said, it's very rare we see this man, Jordan Duncan, miss. Once he sparks up that three-point, he's just unstoppable. He's mm -hmm. not somebody you want to open. And he's letting him know early that, hey, you better step up or I'm knocking this thing down 10 times out of 10. Shot is up and missed. Caden comes down with the rebound, finds Elliott, pushing the pace here. In the corner, Jordan Duncan misses that one. Doherty with the rebound. Ball's being pushed back up by Wide, Landon Wide. Good defense there by Rhett Smith. Rhett Smith, they, they've trapped him. They're looking, Wide has the ball. Nothing but space in front of him. In the corner, shot is missed by Matt Beckman. Elliott making an incredible hook pass into the paint for Rhett Smith to have the easiest layup of his life. Great vision, great look. Ellie just has great vision. We've seen a lot of times where he just shoots it down right into that paint, finds the open man. He's just a phenomenal player. Elliot Stevenson with the left-handed layup. You may have heard me call him amphibious last time. I found out that it's actually ambidextrous is what he is. Able to shoot with both hands. And Elliot gets his first two points of the night. Oh, two men, two men run into each other. Niola did not capitalize off of it. Little pump fake, goes up and makes a tough bucket. Landon Wide gets two, that is his fifth point of the night. He's sitting there getting face guarded by the defender and he, he just shot the ball like there's nobody in front of him. That was a great shot, tough shot too. Larson also from deep. Misses the shot. Rhett still hustling for the ball. Could have been a carry. Foul is called on Larson Kester. Looks like we're going to have Colby Baker and Chris Harding checking into the game here after this first shot. We have, I cannot see his number. I believe that is number 13. Cortland. Cortland Carson at the line, knocks down the first one. We've seen Chris Harding, the sophomore. He has started a couple games this year for this Chinook team. He's saying that even though he's young, he can still play at the big, at the top level right now. Hopefully, he can prove that tonight. Mm -hmm. Carson looking to knock down the second. He knocks it down. Five point lead here. 40 seconds left in this first quarter. Jordan Duncan passing the ball around. Finds uh, Chris Harding in the corner. I mean, we're just gonna hold the ball, try to get this last shot. Gets it to Jordan misses that three, but Chris, big body, makes the gets the rebound. Larson looks to be having his right hand held right there. Tries to get a little put back. Carson, I think, goes up for that. Larson moving the ball down the court. Two seconds left. Doesn't get the layup. 16 to 11 to end this first quarter. We're going to take a break to you. Take a break with you. We'll see you back for the second quarter. The Fire Escape Coffee House is dedicated to high school and college students. Our mission is for every student in Southeast Kansas to know they have value, they are loved, and that they have a place. We are not a church, but we are motivated by the love God has for all of us. The Fire Escape opened in 1998 and is open every Friday and Saturday night for high school and college age students. During the week, the Fire Escape is open to the public Tuesday through Friday mornings for coffee, ketchups, or small groups like Bible studies. The Fire Escape Coffee House is proud to partner with the Schnute High School Tech Classes on this broadcast. Cut. Beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Hey, sir! I got a woman called Gloria Jones. Yeah, 
me about your vision. At the end of the day, it's your classic coming of age story. Can I need more shipping labels? All the gig speed, fiber fueled internet you need to take whatever and make it big. Sparklight Internet, a stronger connection. Welcome back for some second quarter action. This game has been nothing but exciting so far. Chanute has the ball. Jordan Duncan will be passing it in to Chris Harding. What have you seen tonight that's impressed you, Braylon? Um, really just Chanute's, Chanute's offense. They're not really giving up the ball. They are, they're passing the ball. They're not trying to force shots, as I say that. They're not trying to force shots, as you can tell. They're not trying to force passes. They're just trying to run a slow-paced offense right there. There's a foul called on Larson. Nobody here really likes that call, but Carson, Carson gets the bucket plus one, looking to make this free throw. Elliott has checked in for Larson because that is his second personal foul. Carson misses the free throw. Chris Harding with the ball. Looking to move the ball over to Jordan Duncan. Back up to the Seamster. And you, you can just tell they're kind of looking over at Duncan, trying to get him a three-pointer. They, they want my man Jordan Duncan to get hot tonight, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. We got Jordan Duncan. That closeout not quick enough, he says. Doesn't make the shot, though. That's Carson moving the ball up quick. Caden Seamster on him, not letting him get to the basket. Great defense there by Seamster. And there is a travel <laughs> called on Landon Wide. Chanute now with the ball. Iola really cutting this lead to three right now. Mm -hmm. Will they be able to take this lead from Chanute? Possibly. That's Chris Harding with the ball. Sends it all the way over to Elliott. He shoots the three. Does not make it. There's Carson with the ball again. Trying to make a play. Number 10 with a brilliant play there. That's Mac Leonard with a bucket. Cuts the lead down to one. Cut, found the open lane and just got the easy bucket right there. I mean, there's not much you can say to that. Now, one thing about Iola, it seems like they have traveled quite well. They're not very far from here, so it's easy for them to travel here. They have their own little student section over there next two hours. Great pass by Elliott into the corner for Caden Seamster. Does not hit the three-pointer, though. Carson working it in the corner, dribbles it off his own knee. Elliott decides to pressure that. Nothing comes out of it. Wide with the ball. 22 trying to show what his big body can do. Elliott gets the rebound after that air ball. Elliott moving down the court. Elliott is one that is very good at passing while on the move. Just like that, finds Seamster in the corner. Does not make that. It has not been a great game so far from the three-point line for Chanute. And there's a tough, tough shot by Cortland Carson. Kind of mid-range shot like the Rosen, like, like Michael Jordan low, maybe there. Low, low right there on, on the shoulder of the free throw. Mm -hmm. Iola has the lead now. Seamster goes up, misses. Well, Chanute has missed several shots in a row. There is a foul called on Seamster. We have Landon Bilby checking in for the first time tonight and Rhett checking back in. That's Seamster and Jordan Duncan who will be sitting. Now both teams have been quite efficient with the ball, not turning it over. Chanute only has one and Iola has three. See what 
defense will step up and start getting some takeaways first. They'll be pressuring very hard right there. And a steal by Rhett, handed off back to Rhett. Rhett throws kind of a wild pass. Elliott grabs it, throws it back to Rhett. Rhett finds Bilby in the corner. Bilby shoots, and he knocks it down. Landon Bilby for three. You love to see that. I've said this before, Landon Bilby really never used to be a shooter. He worked over the offseason on his shooting, and as you can tell, it's really paid off. Whoa, what a layup there by Mac Leonard. Over three Blue Comets defenders. A lot of white around him, still put it in. Elliott looking to find the right pass. Almost gets it poked away. Gets to the paint and travels. Back in the hands of Iola. It's a 19-19 game here. Tied up. There is Landon Wide, their second leading scorer, checking off. Elliott gets his hand in there, pokes it away twice. Playing really aggressive defense here. Not happy with himself, but he's going to make up for it on defense. Hustling for the ball, making great plays. That's what something you love to see from a player. He's trapped, has to throw it to the corner. Ball gets down to 22. He knocks it down. That is Lucas Meyer. Scores two points there. Great ball movement right there by mm -hmm. the Mustangs, finding the open man in the paint and him just throwing up the easy bucket. A lot of pressure, and they were able to negate that pressure and ended up getting an easy bucket. In the corner, Elliott misses the three, but Bilby gets his hand in there, tries to keep it with the Comets. And Rhett Smith goes up for the layup and gets fouled. He's going to the line to shoot, too. Fouls on number 10, Mac Leonard. First free throws off. As you can see, just great hustle from all the players. Bill be getting a hand in there. Rhett getting the ball and getting fouled. We have Jordan Duncan checking in for Colby. We have both of the Duncan brothers on the court at the same time right now. Something quite unique we have. On both varsity teams, there are siblings that play together. Jalen is a freshman. From what I've heard from the freshman, he is a pretty good defensive player, as we're seeing right mm -hmm. now. He And he's strong. I mean, you can just look at him and tell that he's strong. He, Carson was trapped in the corner there. Ball is going to stay with the Mustangs. Great active hands on defense by Rhett and Jalen there. Carson with the ball in the corner. They've been playing through him a lot. Get the ball down, and it is up and good for Doherty. He has six points now. Elliott moving Great the ball look. up the court. Iola's up by three now. Rhett Smith with the ball in his hands, finds Elliott in the paint, and they're gonna call a push off right there. Not sure if I quite agree with that call, but ball's going the other way, nonetheless. If you're in the Chanu position right now, here with two minutes and 15 seconds left in this second quarter, what are, what are, your, what are your thoughts? What are you trying to do? Honestly, I don't think they've been playing bad. I think they've been playing quite good. Not at all. They've just had some unlucky misses. Bilby makes a great play, and they call him stepping out on the line. But, yeah, you just like to see the ball go through the net a little more. They're taking good shots. They're just missing them. And eventually, those shots will start falling, and the points will start racking up. I can't agree Whoa, with you. Whoa, I don't know if Bilby stepped out right there, as he just saw I in that replay. I can't agree with you. E both teams have been playing amazing right now. But Chanute's just not knocking down these open, open points. Mm-hmm. Eventually, those will start falling, though, and they'll, they'll get back in it. I mean, they're still in it. It's a 20, it's a three-point game. Ball is knocked out of bounds. It looks like they're playing quite lazy here. Need to step it up. We have Lucas Meyer checking in for Jalen Bean. 
Minute 45 left here. Jalen Duncan with the ball. Finds Jordan who gets it over to, back down to Jalen. Elliott, you know he's a great playmaker, always looking to find a great pass to knock down. Jordan shoots the three, and it is good. As I said, the shots will fall, just keep shooting them. Duncan now has uh, nine points. Great game. Uh, I, the Iola defense right there, as you can see, they knew it was going to Jordan. They just got There's the a 30 second timeout called by the Iowa Mustangs, and we're going to take a timeout with you. We'll see you back. KFEX 93.1 FM and Comet Vision are excited to partner with Dr. Grant Gastineau. Dr. Gastineau graduated from Chanute High School and is committed to supporting the activities of the youth of Chanute. Thank you, Dr. Gastineau. We appreciate your support. Welcome back to the end of this first half. Whoa, the end of this first half, 23 to 23 game, it's tied. One minute left, this game has been super entertaining. Bilby gets a steal there. The ball's being pushed down. Jordan goes up, gets fouled, and he's headed to the line. Like you just said, it's been a very entertaining game. Let's just, let's just hope it stays like that. Jordan Duncan at the line. Knocks down the first. He has 10 points now. Duncan knocks down the second. Up to 11 points on the night for Jordan Duncan. Landon wide with the ball in his hands, getting trapped, cut out over at half court. Jalen Duncan got up to get that kickball violation. Fifty seconds left. Schnoot looking to play some good defense, possibly get one more bucket, going to the half with a decent sized lead. Carson goes up with that shot that he's taken three times and missed three times. But rebound is got, but doesn't put it back in. Bilby wanted to shoot that. 30 seconds left. Slow it down. Looking to find someone. Bilby very high up at the top of the key. Finds Seamster. Seamster shoots the three. Does not hit it. Ball's being pushed up by Carson. And they're gonna they're gonna hold for this last shot. Nine seconds left. He wants a screen. He's in a bad situation. Gets the ball over to one. He shoots a floater, and it is good to tie the game back up. That is Landon wide. And it is Great going into move. half. Great move right there. Cut right back at, right into the paint. Shot mm -hmm. that floater. Tied the game. And we'll see it again here. Another voice crack. But great play there nonetheless. Great. Way to end the half, ties it up, and we'll see you back for this second half.
hello and welcome back for this second game of our Schnoot Blue Comets homecoming special. We have a very entertaining game coming. Second half of this game, it's 25-25 right now. Braylon, what have you seen so far that's impressed you from both sides? Um, ball movement, the ball movement from both teams has been pretty crazy. Um, they've both taken their times finding that open man. We've seen Iola find that open man down, down in the paint, number 22 to be exact. We've seen him multiple times make moves in the paint. We've seen Elliot find Rhett in the paint. We've seen Elliot find a lot of people. Elliot's a great passer for this team. We got we got us one one heck of a game on our hands right here, Bryson. Yeah, we do. 16 minutes left. Tie game. We got we got quite the entertainment coming. Don't go anywhere. This is gonna get fun. Iola starting with the ball. That's Mac Leonard check or passing the ball in. And they have Landon Wide double teamed until he gets past half court. Now he just got the one Jordan Duncan. A screen's coming. They have to switch. Chanute very comfortable with switching. I'm sure all five guys out there can really guard any position. That's a luxury that we have here at Chanute. And Carson hits a tough shot in the corner. We've seen him drive to the corner like that multiple times this game, and that's the first time he's hit the shot. Mm -hmm. Larson wide open in the corner. Surprised he doesn't take that. Throws the ball away there. Ball's being pushed up. And Carson gets the rebound and goes up and one. Looking to knock it down. Great spin move right there from number one. Missed the layup. Carson taking the layup, making the and one, and making the free throw right here. What a great play. He's up to 11 points now. Chanute with the ball. Viola's still in their zone. But they've been playing all day. Looking to get a bucket here. Elliott makes a good backdoor cut. Just the ball bounces off his knee. Elliott dribbles and stands up with it. Larson double teamed, rims in and out. The rebound there is grabbed by Doherty. Carson with a tough shot, and he is feeling it right now. Incredible shot there by Carson. That was a nasty play right there, hitting the fadeaway. Amazing play. Another turnover, but a great chase down block by Rhett Smith. That might be the momentum shift that we need in order That's to get hard. ourselves back in this game. Let's look at this replay here. Amazing anticipation, amazing athleticism. Let's hope that shot, that, let's hope that block. Can Elliot really has the ball, the team around. goes up left-handed, and he is fouled hard, and he is going to the line. And he pops right back up. He's a tough guy. These free throws right here are, are really like the lead of the game right here really depends on these two free throws right here. If they do not make these free throws, the Iola can make this a double digit lead. Mm -hmm. Our cameraman was in the line of fire there. Are we keeping track? Because that's a fourth voice crack. Mark it down, Braylon. Oh, I'm counting up, Bryson. As Elliott knocks down the second free throw, misses the first, though. Larson pokes the ball free, but it stays in the hands of Viola. I mean, I'm sure they're looking, or Carson isn't even in the game. All right. Gets it to number 10 in the corner. He shoots it, misses front rim. Larson gets the rebound, pushes it in between two defenders, in between two defenders again, gets fouled hard, and he's going to the line. Way to get to the line by the Comets. And something that's been rough all season here has been third quarter play for the Comets. All year they've struggled in the third quarter, given up leads in the third quarter. I mean, got taken out of close games in the third quarter. Hoping to spin that around, not let that happen today as Larson knocks down the first free throw. Incredible ball great, handling. 
Great play right there, splitting the defense. Come well, Larson was coming up the court. Two Iola defenders close in on him, splits the defense, draws the foul. Four point game. Iola has the ball, almost turns it over. Kind of a wild pass. I don't know. I don't know if number ten was looking. They get the ball down. The ball is passed out, and it rims out and in, and back out. Seems they're with the rebound. Pushes it down the court, hits Larson in the corner, who has a great drive. Wants the foul, didn't, didn't get it. Nice Euro step there, but back to Iola. Chanute really Doherty, trying to draw the foul. Doherty here. falls hard. Not sure how that is in a travel. Ball's pushed up to Elliott. He goes up for the layup and he knocks it down. And Iola is going to take a timeout. I'm actually not quite sure what's happening here. It looks like I the, think the Iola coach was trying to look for the foul when number four fell over Caden Seamster. So that's not a timeout. I think that's a warning that was given. Yeah, a warning was given to the Iola head coach. Now it is back in the hands of Iola. Five minutes left, two point game. This Super is really anybody's game. game right here. In indeed it is, indeed it is. Larson pokes the ball free, dives for the ball. It's gonna stay in Iola's hands. That is, Portland Carson is gonna be passing the ball in. And there is a charge and a half. Great play by Larson. I mean, I, I don't know about you, Braylon, but I don't think this sport is football. Those hits aren't normally thrown around here. Larson really showing that he can put he'll put the bot his body out for the team. As mm -hmm. we see, as we saw on the play before, him diving on the on the floor to get the ball from going out mm -hmm. of bounds. L Boogie is what they like to call him. <laughs> is a phenomenal player. Phenomenal nickname too. L Boogie. Elliot trying to find Larson in the post. Finds Rhett over on the side, doesn't shoot it. Caden takes it baseline, gets, handles all the contact and still knocks it down. Great play by Seamster now, he has four. Game is tied, Braylon. Lot of contact right there on the play. Caden Seamster taking it up, again, around a lot of Iola players. Turnover by Iola. Rhett Smith pushing it up, Elliott has it on the baseline. Finds Jordan Duncan wide open, pump fakes it with a hand in his face, misses, great rebound, and he is fouled. Red Smith with a phenomenal play. He's going to the line, trying to take the lead for the Schnoot Blue Comets. Jordan pump fake, trying to get the defender. He jumped, but the hand was still in his face right there. Red, being the aggressive player he is, grabs the rebound, throws it up, get, draws the foul. These free throws right here are really key to this game right now because Chanute could go up. Mm -hmm. As he misses the first free throw. Got some confusion on the court here. I believe that he just got a technical foul. No, do not think, that, I'm not sure. It looked like it was a technical foul, but. Rhett knocks down that free throw. And Chanute's going to take a full timeout. We're going to take a timeout with them. We'll be back here shortly. At Bridgewood Cabinetry, we believe in the power of transformation. Formerly known as Hilo Industries, our journey began right here in Chanute in 1974, where this community has been our heart and soul. We stand tall as a proud member and supporter of the Chanute community. Our success is a testament to the unwavering support of the people and businesses who live and work alongside us. 
Bridgewood is recognized as a technological leader in the wood products manufacturing industry, pushing boundaries every day. We are a family employing 275 dedicated individuals from Chanute and the surrounding areas, working together towards a common goal. Bridgewood provides high quality cabinetry with cutting edge style to over 500 kitchen and bath cabinet design studios in 48 states. This is where community and craftsmanship unite. Join us in creating spaces where memories are born and families come together. Bridgewood Cabinetry. Simple choices, endless possibilities. Hello and welcome back to this incredible ball game we've had so far. Chanute is up one with four minutes and five seconds left in this third quarter. Iola has the ball looking to push down the court and take this lead. One thing Chanute has done great in this second half so far is getting to the line. And they've been knocking down fairly efficiently to retake this lead. They were down by seven at one point and now are up by one. Eight point swing. As the ball is being moved around. Number one with the ball in his hands, overseeing the offense. Looks like he wants to try to make a play on Jordan Duncan. He likes the matchup, I believe. Ball's almost lost there. Jordan Duncan with it again. Ball poked away by Elliott. Rhett moving it up the court. It's a one on two. He's in kind of a dangerous situation. Goes for a spin move. Ball gets poked free. And now the ball's being moved up by Cortland Carson. Misses the layup. It's a five on four fast break. And a foul is called. I'm not sure how that is a foul on Seamster, but indeed it is. And that is a turnover for Chanute. Once again, two straight possessions, two turnovers. Not something like to see, is it, Raylan? Not at all. This Chanute, Chanute has really stepped up their game. Like you said earlier, they were down seven. They swung it around, got the eight points that they needed. They're up by one right now. As Cortland misses the floater. Cortland's been phenomenal tonight. Larson moving it up quickly. What a incredible show of skill by Larson Kester. Beautiful ball handling, beautiful spin move, gets the bucket. Love they to see him, it. They call him L Boogie for a reason. Spin move, easy lay. Ball is poked free. Ball is thrown way too out in front. Cannot get it. Gonna Larson be Iola's just ball. Making the, just, it was just a crazy play. It's, words can't even explain about the play that L Boogie just performed right there. L Boogie. Love it. That is wide with the ball in it. There's another one, Braylon. Mark it down. There's there's five. Now, wide with the ball in his hands. And there is a blocking foul. He's going to shoot two. I believe he's going to shoot two. I don't know what the call is here. Nope, he's going to. That's Caden's third, though. He is going to go to the we line. I'm we not sure what's going on here. We probably won't see Caden until the fourth quarter. Yeah, I don't know if they're, if they called it on the ground. If they called it on the ground, then they shouldn't be shooting free throws because they're not in the bonus yet. But if they, a lot of con they did call it, a, here on the they court. did call it a shot, then he made the shot and it should be going up for a three point play. All three of the refs are discussing now. Looks like we got some controversy on the court. They're trying to call the one ref over, but he's taking his time. So there's the Iola coach. He's been angry all night. So they called it a bucket for wide there. So he's looking to push his point total to double digits with this shot right here. And he does. Larson with the ball finds Elliott. Gets the ball back to Elliott, makes a move down the baseline, gets kind of trapped, throws a high pass over back to Rhett Smith. You'd like to see the ball get into the hands of Jordan Duncan. They're leaving him a lot of space. He gets it. A quick draw there would be nice, but he doesn't want to force anything he doesn't like. And there's a turnover for Chanute. 
and Cortland goes up and makes the shot. He has 15 now. Another turnover for Chanute. Chanute's just moving, moving way too quick. You have the lead by two. We are there now. They only have the lead by one right now. Actually, but that scoreboard is on the screen. It's not correct. It's actually 37 to 35 right now. And there Chanute was having the, Cortland, Chanute having Cortland Carson with another bucket there, adding two more points to his point total. Go ahead, Brian. Chanute having the lead but they were trying to move way too quick. Like I said, the slow pace game is the best game. But. And there is, ball's gonna stay with Chanute. 39, 35 point game here. A minute left in this third quarter. Elliott with the ball. Finds, finds Chris who's looking. Jordan Duncan, Elliott once again has it. Back to Jordan, they're staying deep on Jordan. They're not letting him get anywhere. There's another Braylon, count it down. And that ball is gonna stay, nope, it's actually gonna be Iola ball. Nobody in the gym appreciates that call. There's a full timeout called. We're gonna take a break with you and we will be back for the end of this third quarter. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, located right across the street from Royster Middle School in downtown Chanute, is in the business of making you feel better, faster. With three licensed pharmacists, the Medicine Shop has the knowledge to know the right drugs and the proper dosage to ensure your safety. If you're not quite up to your game, Medicine Shop offers delivery to your door. The Medicine Shop, a proud underwriter of the Chanute Blue Comets, Unbelievable. Sparklight is unveiling unlimited internet for just $25 a month. Get reliable 100 meg internet for just $25 a month for 12 months with unlimited data. That's unlimited internet. Call 877-469-3057 or visit sparklight.com slash savings. Sparklight, a new breed in high speed. Hello and welcome back for the last 45 seconds of this third quarter. Schnoot is down four points. Ball is in the hands of Iola. They're looking to push their lead up even farther. Braylon, what, what, what player, what individual has stood out the most to you so far in this game? If I'm being completely honest, Bryson, there's not an individual player on either team right now that has stood out. Mm -hmm. Both teams have been making crazy plays, crazy passes, crazy shots, and that's all basketball's about. Ba at the end of the day, basketball Great play is not, there. Basketball is not a one-person game. It is a whole team game. Indeed it is. Now, a, a couple players that stood out to me for Iola is Landon Wide and Cortland Carson. Both have quite a few points. And then there is another turnover for Chanute. This has been a rough game for turnovers in the second half. And Wide gets another bucket. He has 13 on the night. Five seconds left. I don't know if Elliot knows that there's four seconds left. A foul's called on. Jordan on, Duncan's on ready I, to shoot that. Iola, and they're going to go to the free throw line. 1.8 seconds here. Chanute down by eight now. Elliot at the line. Really need to knock these down. If you're Coach Crabtree right now, down by eight points, what are you, what are you telling your team when in the huddle? I mean, slow down, you gotta, you gotta relax. Like, they're playing way too fast, they're playing out of their head. Uh, they're turning the ball over because they're playing so fast, they need to relax, play their game, and knock down their shots, that, and then we all know they can. 1.8 seconds, looks like they're gonna press to not let, them get a, not let them get a shot off, or possibly get a steal, but Cortland shoots it, not gonna count, off the backboard. That's the end of this third quarter. We're gonna come back after this for the fourth quarter.
Home Savings Bank is a platinum underwriter here at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Home Savings Bank has been serving the Chanute area since 1886. Customer owned and customer driven, Home Savings Bank, located at 214 North Lincoln Avenue in Chanute, Kansas, is here to serve all your banking needs. Whether your needs are checking, savings account, safety deposit box, lending, or online banking, Home Savings Bank is here to help. Home Savings Bank is located on the internet at homesavingschanute.com. Home Savings Bank is committed to the youth of Southeast Kansas and helps and the ministries at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Missing that human touch at your bank? At Community National Bank and Trust, you'll be able to talk with a real person. Community National Bank is small enough to know you, yet big enough to offer the best products. Your busy lifestyle requires banking options like mobile deposit and people-to-people pay. With locations in Southeast Kansas and Southwest Missouri, Community National Bank and Trust can help keep your finances safe and your spending smarter. Online at mybankcnb.com. Community National Bank and Trust. Federally insured. Locally awesome. Member FDIC. Hello and welcome back to the fourth quarter. Schnute down by six. Looking to make a play. Get a lead. Larson with the ball in his hands. I mean, we got to slow down, play our game, not turn the ball over. That ball's poked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Schnute, though. Close game. It's loud in here right now, and that's because Iola travels very well. Jordan almost shot that three. Gets the ball in the hands of Larson. Larson pump fakes. Little hop step from Seamster. He goes up. Doesn't make it, but Bilby's right there to get it and put it back in. Great play by Bilby. It's now a four-point game. Great read off the backboard from Bilby right there. Coming down with the rebound and putting it straight back up. The foul called. I, I believe they're calling it on the ground. It's going to be on the baseline. That is Larson's third foul. He had two fouls in the first quarter. That's his first foul since. Great discipline by Larson this game. They're calling a blocking foul on Larson. Now he's down to four. He's down to four. And Larson's saying, hey, coach, trust me. I'll be able to stay in. I'm good. And that is Cortland Carson at the line. Name I've been saying That's, all night. That is Larson's fourth foul. Mm -hmm. Cortland knocks down the first. He's up to 18 points tonight. Impressive game he's had here. Knocks down the second. That is now a six point game. Finally get into Jordan's hands. He shoots it and it is nothing but nylon. Beautiful shot there by Jordan Duncan. Jordan Duncan, like I said, is the three point shooter. He, he, he put Chanute right back in this game. Yep, it's down to a three point game. Now the whole gym is back in this. The defense is more aggressive. The, the steal by Bilby there, we're looking good. That shot Pass was the momentum. Bilby into the top of the key, finds Larson. Larson pump fakes the three, jab step, moves to his left, gets it to Jordan. Jordan thinks about it, Larson thinks about it. Gets it to Seamster, he's wide open, he shoots it, he knocks it down! Game is tied! Caden is really known for driving and shooting. And they call Kaden another an foul on Caden there. Go ahead, Raylan. Caden is just an all, all over great player. We love to see that three point Chanute really. Jordan Duncan knocking down that shot, bringing the momentum back, not only in the players, but also in the fans. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. Iola can't find anyone to get this ball to. Bilby almost knocks it away. Wide goes for the three, misses. There's Jalen Duncan. He's kind of trapped right now. Gets gets out of it. Moving down the court quickly. Gets it to Bilby, who finds Larson. A great playmaker. Pump fakes. Gets it back to Jalen. They're moving the ball around. Ball is nicked off by 
number five there. Jalen with the ball. Throws it to his brother. His brother shoots it from NBA range. And guess what? It's good! Bang! Beautiful shot by Jordan. He's up to 17 points here. Takes the lead. Amazing. Just, just brilliant. Jordan, Jordan Duncan now starting to warm up from the three-point. Coming in clutch for the Chanute basketball team. White is fighting for it. Bilby gets it. He's running down the court. Gets it to, to Caden Seamster, and he gets fouled. He's going to the line. Chanute is up three. Huge momentum swing here. Looking to knock down these free throws. These free throws right here are a big part of this game. I've said that multiple times this game. But with Chanute only being up by three points right now, these free throws can determine mm -hmm. who's going to win or who's going to lose this game. Yep. Free throws are definitely something that can win you or lose you a game. Tried to get a little, little jelly action there. Does not knock it down, but going to the line nonetheless. Shooting the first one. Nailed it. Second one is about to come. Does not make it. Four-point game here. Wide with the ball. Finds Mac Leonard. Mac Leonard swings the ball around back to Wide. Wide finds Carson. Carson takes a little step back. Wants that mid-range shot. He's been pretty efficient with it all night. Wide receives a screen. He's moving into the paint. Gets it out to 22. He makes a move. Lockdown defense here from Chanute so far. Wide calls off the screen. Gets it down to Cortland Carson. He shoots a tough shot. Misses. But that is number four, Grady Doherty with a fantastic layup, plus one, going to the free throw line. That was a great rebound right there. Jumped up in between two Chanute defenders, grabs the ball, puts the ball back up. Mm -hmm. Great play. Just a tough shot taken there, but Doherty is there to get the board, fights through all the contact, and he shows him, shows him his muscles that he used right there to get that. Free throw is missed. And two point game here in Chanute's favor. Jalen Duncan with the ball at the top of the key, finds Jordan. They close out on Jordan quick because they know he's a knockdown shooter. He ain't gonna miss that. Gets over to Bilby in the corner, he shoots. It is off front rim and it goes out of bounds. Four minutes, 20 seconds left, it's a two point game. Boy, are if we in for a treat, I Braylon. If you're this Iola team right now, offense and defense, what are you doing, Bryson? I mean, they just need to keep playing the same game they've been playing all night. They've played efficiently, they've played effectively, and they're only down by two points here. There's Cortland Carson with the ball again, looking for that, the wild mid-range shots that he always takes. Misses that one. S Stevenson moving it up the court. Does it behind the back. Euro step. They call the foul on the ground. On that Euro step, called it on the ground. Ball's going to be passed in from out of bounds. And not still two, two, point, two point game here. You would like Chanute to get a bucket, make it a, a, at least a two possession game. Find, throw it back to Caden Seamster. Let the offense relax for a second. Iola's now in a man, man, man defense here, sorry. That guy is wide open. Who is it? Jordan Duncan does not make it. Bilby gets absolutely hammered. And I believe they're going to call that on Iola. It's going to stay with Chanute. Great hustle there by Landon Bilby. Iola pulling the risk, leaving Jordan Duncan open. Mm -hmm. That's always risky, leaving Jordan Duncan I believe open. it was just a miscommunication. Jalen gets it, finds Bilby in the corner. He's knocked one down. He's going to knock another down. Five-point game. Landon Bilby hits another three. Landon Bilby's really developed to be a good shooter now. He's, he's, I think he's going to be big next year. Senior year, he's going to be starting on varsity. I think he's going to be, be, be doing really good. There's a blocking foul called on Seamster. I'm not sure in what world that's a blocking foul. His feet seem to be set. 
went right through him. And now Iola's in the bonus, and they're going to be able to shoot some free throws. And Seamster now has four fouls. Now both Larson and Seamster are in foul trouble. Not they something you both, like to see. They both are key players to this Chanu offense right now. It's First one is knocked deep. down. They got to they gotta simmer down on this aggressive. Four-point game here. And another is knocked down. Makes it a three-point game. One possession game now. Larson is back down by the scores table, ready to check in. Gets it to Jordan. Duncan, who knocks down another there we go. incredibly clutch three-pointer here. He has 20 Iola. points on the night. Six-point game. Gonna learn? When is Iola going to learn? You and there is a Jordan Duncan open. incredible shot from Cortland Carson. I honestly do not know how he's doing it. He has 21 on the night. Bilby has it. He could, he could have let it fly, but guess who? Jordan Duncan with another three-pointer. Pushes the lead to seven. I said in the beginning of the game, all he needs to do is warm up. Jordan Duncan has found his spot on the court. Three threes from right there on the exact same spot. When is Iola going to learn? You cannot leave my man open. Incredible plays down the stretch by Jordan Duncan. He has 23 points now. And on the other side, on the other side, Cortland Carson has 21 points, I believe. 21, 22, maybe. I know we're talking a lot about Jordan Duncan making these shots, but another thing, a thing that we haven't been talking about is how Iola is responding to these shots. Mm -hmm. Each three that, that Jordan Duncan has made, Iola has gone down and got an easy layup. Yep. And... We're also not talking about how impressive the passes have been and the offensive plays have been to get Jordan Duncan these wide open shots. There is a free throw knocked down and there's a timeout taken. We're gonna take a timeout with you. We'll be back shortly for this incredible game that we're witnessing right now. KFEX Firescape Radio programming is made possible in part by the underwriting efforts of Sonic Drive-In of Chanute. Sonic Drive-In of Chanute does not consider community involvement a sales gimmick or a public relations ploy. They see it as a way to be a good neighbor and as a way to have a positive impact on their community. It is for these reasons that Sonic Drive-In of Chanute is a proud underwriter of KFEX Firescape Radio and the ministry efforts of the entire Firescape ministry to the youth of Chanute. back and that's the last three that Jordan hit beautiful pass from Bill but even better shot from Car or from sorry from Jordan Duncan here I said we are this in the beginning of the game Bryson Jordan Duncan just needs to warm up he might have missed he might have missed a lot of shots from the first to third quarter but he has really came in clutch for this Chinook Comets basketball team Larson goes to make a play, gets fouled and one! These three pointers from Jordan have led to an incredible amount of momentum for the entire team here. Larson knocks down the layup and he's gonna go to the free throw line to try to make it a nine point game. Great drive right there, going up. He took some contact going up. She showed that, you know, Contact does not matter to me. Easy lay. El Boogie. That's what they call him, right? That is exactly Wild, what they call him, Bryson. High bouncing free throw there. There's a you would a, you would expect a three pointer there. He doesn't shoot it and he misses that one. Larson moving the ball up. He can kind of slow down. Finds Bilby. Bilby finds Elliot. Elliot's kind of just relaxing for a minute. Gets it to Seamster. They're just they're just fine with with keeping the ball in right their now, hands. Yeah. Wasting right now some the block. Chanute team, the Chanute team should not be trying to force any passes, force any shots. Hold the ball. No shot clock.
You wonder, like, if you're Iola, when are you gonna foul? And there it is. And that foul is gonna take Shunu to the free throw line. Elliot is gonna go to the free throw line for this one. Looking to push it to a 10 point game. With the lead that they have right now, it's it's risky sending Shanu to the to the line. Well, I mean, you need to send him to the line so they don't waste all the clock. Elliot knocks Elliot down the first free throw. If Elliot makes both, if Elliot makes both of these shots, this will be the first double-digit lead of the night. Indeed, it. Well, yeah. Elliot. Knocks down both free throws, and he does push it to that double-digit lead. He has nine points on the night. Now, I'm sure they're going to be looking for a quick shot, and they do to number five, and he misses. Larson goes up and gets it, and he throws it to Jordan Duncan, who's going to just chill. He's going to hold the ball, try to maybe draw a foul, get it to Larson, relax for a second, gets it back to Jordan, gets it back to Larson, playing hot potato right now. A little back and forth action. Indeed. 55 seconds. You need to foul if you're Iola. I don't know why they aren't. Student section chanting, warm up the bus right now. Bilby, whoa, that guy almost died. Bilby is going to the line. 42 a, seconds left, up by 10. Game might as well be over. Took a hard hit right there. Took a hard hit right there. Let's hope he's okay. Yeah. He did. He, he popped right back up, though. Tough, tough guy right there. Landon Bilby shooting two here. Misses the first. Oh, yeah. Mm, he took right a tough fall. Right but he popped up. There's Bilby. He now has nine points. 40 seconds left. They're going to be looking for a quick three here. And they are. And he knocks it down. That's a great shot there. There's a full time now. We're gonna we're gonna take a little time out with you. I believe. And we'll be right back in 30 seconds. For years, Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has been providing quality financial guidance to local individuals and businesses. Their expertise ranges from basic tax management and accounting services to more in-depth services such as audits, financial statements, QuickBooks support, and payroll. Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has backed Chanute's youth in all their endeavors from the classroom to extracurricular activities. They're proud to help support the youth of Chanute by underwriting this KFEX broadcast. Welcome back, there's 35 seconds left. It is an eight point game. Chanute is up, both teams going to the free throw line with any foul. That the, three ball mm -hmm. could change up this momentum for Iola right that now. That was quite a big shot there, and you know Iola's Chanute, gonna be pressing. Chanute, Chanute student section chanting warm up the bus a little too early right now. Possibly. 35 seconds left. They're not pressing, which is kind of surprising. I don't know what's really going on here. Bilby sets a screen for Larson. Larson, have they just given up? I don't, they're not fouling, they're not pressing. There's finally a foul. Let them waste 14 seconds. That's not a move I would make as a head coach. But now heading to the line, 21 seconds left in this game. Seamster misses the first free throw. Seamster about to take his second. He knocks it down. That brings Seamster up to nine as well. Everybody has nine. Besides Jordan, he has 23. Almost, ball's almost gone out of his hands. Wide with the ball. He's gonna have to shoot something wild here. Three people on him. What is? What can he do? I believe a timeout is called. Um, we're just going to stay here with you. 
Braylon, eight seconds left in this game. We, there's no chance now. Nine point game, there's no chance that Chanute can lose this game, no chance Iola. But as quite the underdog, Iola has came in here and played very well. Normally, Chanute has had the upper hand in this rivalry, but Iola has played in incredibly efficient. They've had two players, Landon Wide and Cortland Carson, who each have, oh, Co Landon Wide has 16, and Cortland Carson has 21 himself. That's great, efficient play by them. The lead has been back and forth from this Chanu and Iola matchup. Like I said earlier, nothing but good things from this Iola team that I've heard. They have lived up to the story. I've, this Iola team is legit. Yep. And it's been a great game from several players on Chanu. And it has, it's been a lot of Jordan Duncan, but several other players have played great as well. As Landon Wide shoots the three, knocks it down a little too, little too late here as the game is over. Now we had some great players play tonight and we win both of the games at this homecoming special. A brilliant game tonight and we will see you guys at the next home game. Have a good one.